<laughs> the CDC has sent a team to New York to investigate an identified case of polio in the state. Late last month, local health officials announced an adult resident who is unvaccinated had contracted polio. New York's Department of Health says it's the first case in the U.S. since 2013 and state health officials detected the virus in wastewater samples back in June. A polio infection causes flu-like symptoms for most patients, but in some cases about one in 100 paralysis and death is possible. The FDA has approved a medication that aims to treat a newly recognized type of breast cancer called her too low. It's for women with advanced breast cancer that can be surgically removed or has spread to other parts of their body. In clinical trials, the window of time women could live with their cancer and not get any worse nearly doubled. It also increased overall survival from about 17 months in the group that got standard chemotherapy to 24 months in the group that received the new medication. According to the FDA, more than 287 thousand women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in the U.S. this year. Still ahead, the Jazz Fest took over Island Park today.